Should you experience the fear of missing out with this one? Hey everyone, welcome to Cinema, where we focus on the film. I'm John. Well, let me know down in the comments below if you've seen the raid. Is it good? Is it bad? Or somewhere right in the middle? Let me know all your thoughts. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already to join in the film culture community where we talk about a lot of the cinema as a whole. But going right into the synopsis. When Chris and his family get this new device called the Aya in their home, they're able to discover that it's able to learn and figure out all their motives and needs, which leads it to try and discover and figure figure out how to block out any and no one that will get in their way. And going right into the positives right after that, I'd like there's been a lot of negative reviews and I still wanted to give it my own fair chance and there is a sense of ability with what this film has to offer that adds the creepy elements that gives about the AI something to be horrifying just what we're expecting about it being able to learn all our motives being able to figure out how the human works and surpass our expectations of what it can really do how it can creep in on us in the most peculiar situations and so how that is set up in this film i wasn't expecting too much to begin with based on some of the reviews and not knowing what to begin with going into it. And so just generally what we get out of that, the family is a nice setup, what we're getting out of them. The idea and concept is simply there. And so there is a bit of a horrifying aspect to it. It's not the most scary film out there. It's not the greatest film of how it flows on throughout, but where we get on later on in the film, there's a couple twists here and there. I wasn't necessarily expected. I wasn't shocked by them, but it was something that caught me a little off guard in the positive essence that I was able to get engaged with where the film was headed from the beginning and following on through the end. And while there's not necessarily a lot to be said about what this concept of a film has been done before, especially even with the direct uh, reference to 2001 Space Odyssey, where we're going with AI as the villain it still does a generally good job at what it's setting up and how it flows about along the way getting right into negatives there's some elements where the family the dialogue and the writing just doesn't feel like it all fits together too properly in some particular scenes or certain bits of dialogue that feels very unnatural how they're talking to the ai or how the ai is talking to them what is all flowing out that doesn't necessarily feel natural and there also is the use of AI within this it starts even with an AI video to turn into showing the presentation of a prologue how one particular family gets lost with where it leads up to the main central family of the film and so where that takes it it just gives somewhat of a sour taste in my mouth of what you're really getting out of it. It might be the best use of how they're utilizing it. Now we know what AI technically looks like if you're creating a visual image, but that doesn't necessarily defend the essence of utilizing AI within film. That should be something more artistic, something more on the human quality of things, using all of these own personal digital images or creating the ideas or creating all of the crafts that makes a film so well technically done and utilizing AI within it Yes, I know we're in that age that it has its own appearance. And so instead of utilizing what we got from HAL within 2001 Space Odyssey, we're getting something that we know what it looks like, but that doesn't necessarily make it any better by the own regard of what it's doing within this film that should be more heavily regarded and treated properly for what you're getting out of the essence of the story. It's not necessarily a total make or break. I was still engaged throughout, but it does still feel like something that shouldn't be in there. And so just certain character motives, they're not always totally clear how it flows on throughout. Certain suspicions about the AI that 
you expect what it's going to play out and it plays out just in that way. And so there's certain elements of predictability or pieces of a puzzle that you can put together way before it happens and just the general prediction of how it goes on throughout. It doesn't necessarily settle in on a flow that naturally feels like it's properly fit. I also say while there's an essence where this film is disturbing within the essence of what you're asking for within this being an AI horror film, it doesn't necessarily get on your skin, get you terrified, or have something truly special to say about how it's overtaking our lives. It doesn't feel personal or close to home with how it's trying to connect with us outside of the general idea of what we see in AI today, what the visual idea is, and how it could be leading into the future. It doesn't necessarily feel like it directly impacts that element of horrifying moments that can work within not only the characters that are involved with the story, but how it attaches to us as a whole. 90 minutes is good enough for what you're getting out of it, and so you can't really ask for anything more, and I hope it's not really getting a sequel, because it feels like it's good for being a one and done thing, but also not necessarily feeling like it's great as a movie for being existing at all. But with my positive qualities that I have being able to experience it as a whole, I have to rate this film a simply 5.5 out of 10. But that's just my personal thoughts on Afraid. Let me know your personal thoughts. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already to join in the film culture committee where we talk about the love of cinema as a whole. And so that's just all. And make sure to do yourself a favor and go watch a movie.